friends in this video lecture we are going to discuss the various operating system services which are used for process management so in this section we are going to describe the runtime services runtime services or we call them as system calls provided by the kernel of multi programming operating system for process management by runtime services we mean that these are the predefined system calls that may be used by user processes that may be used by user processes either directly or through supervisor call by operating system okay so there are various you know runtime services or system calls which are used by operating system for the process management we we are going to discuss one by one in the in our upcoming lectures so today we are going to discuss the first call or first service which is used which is called as process creation process creation as we know in operating system a process can create new processes new processes for this it uses a system call named as create process in general sense the creating process the process which is creating a process uh, a new process is called as parent process and the process which is getting created is called as child process and this child process may in turn create new sub child or child processes which in for in turn create an hierarchy just like this suppose if we consider a as a parent process and it creates its new child process say b and b in turn create its child process name say c so this will create a hierarchy in our operating system so when a process creates another process or with this uh, in turn create a hierarchy the question arises how they share they their resources or how resource sharing is done during that so it it is having three you know options or three possibilities that parent and child both share all resources the first possibility is ke jo bhi hamare paas parent aur child hain wo sare resources jo hain wo share kare second possibility is that child share the subset of of parent resources the child share the subset of parents resources 
and third possibility may be that parent and child share no resources so this is how resource sharing is done during the process creation part second question arises about their execution is about their execution so it is also having two possibilities first possible possibility says that parent continue continues to execute concurrently concurrently with its children or with its child ki hamara jo parent hai wo apni child process ke sath concurrent execution kare sath sath dono execute karte rahe then ye bhi possible hai it may be possible that if you know parent has completed his work then it may wait that second option is ki parent waits until some of its childs have terminate until their termination okay so these are two most important phenomena which are happen during the process creation that is resource sharing and execution and the you know third one is third one which is called as the what what is about their address space if if parent is executing in some particular address area then what is the uh, what will happen in case of its process creation or the new child process so in that case you know <clears throat> again there are two possibilities that the child process works as the duplicate of parent then uh, duplicate of parent means the child process is executing the same address uh, code or same uh, you know uh, the, the program which is uh, currently parent is executing and it may happen then that child process you know has a program has a different program loaded onto it loaded onto it for this our most you know important of uh, most uh, uh, popular operating system which is unix issues or uses a system called name as named as fork so for whenever a fork system is uh, called in unix operating system a parent process generates child process in such cases so it is used for creation of new process and second of uh, system call which is you know called in operating system named as unix which is which is called as exec lp which is you know used generally after a fork to replace the process memory with a newly created program new program so for example if we say this a is a parent process 
it has a new process generated by fork say B next is C then D and B in turn forks another process E C generates two child process say F and say G and G is again generating its child process say H so now the question arises that how this process hierarchy which we are you know generating by means of pen and paper or theoretical concept then how this process hierarchy is implemented by operating system so the answer of this question we will discuss in our le next lecture that how this pro process hierarchy is implemented in the operating system so if you have, a, have any query about uh, any of the concept till now which we have discussed so kindly ask your query in our comment section we'll try to give you answer as soon as possible thank you so much